Hello and welcome to Westman News Now. I'm your host, Connor Lynch, here to recap and preview all things Westwood. Monday evening saw Westwood voters brief a cold night on Flay High Field at a special town meeting. The only article of the evening concerned the funding needed for a new elementary school that would see Hamlin and Deerfield consolidated at the current Hamlin site. Over 1,000 residents ended up voting, with 873 voting in favor and 153 voting against it, which means that the two-thirds majority needed to pass was met. A recording of that meeting can be found on our YouTube channel right now. That project still faces a special town election vote as well. Next Tuesday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., residents can head to the polls and vote on the project. This election will require a majority approval. Results of the ballot question are expected to be announced Tuesday evening. And taking a look at next week's government meetings, Westwood Media Center will be broadcasting and live streaming next week's planning board and select board meetings. So check out our YouTube page or cable stations for those. The health department is working with Wegmans Pharmacy to offer a flu clinic tomorrow, October 23rd, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Westwood High School. This clinic is for residents three years or older and requires an appointment ahead of time. For more information, please call the number on your screen. The Westwood Young Women's Club will be hosting a Harvest Fest event, which will also be held tomorrow. This event will contain touch a truck, live music, an obstacle course, train rides, food trucks, pumpkin carving, and so much more. This event will be held on the Deerfield Field from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Although it is a little ways away, it was recently announced that Westwood's annual Veterans Day ceremony will be held on November 11th. All are welcome to head to Veterans Park on Route 109 at 11 a.m., with the Senior Center being a location in case of inclement weather. More information will be posted as this event gets closer. Westwood Youth and Family Services will be hosting its holiday gift-giving program. This confidential gift-giving program matches local donors with Westwood families who need assistance with purchasing holiday gifts for their children. To participate, please contact Youth and Family Services by November 8th. And that's going to do it for us here at Westwood News Now. Episodes premiere every Friday, so tune in next week for more news. Thank you for watching.